What's up everyone? It is Muhammad with Product Feedback bringing you a review of the Thermaltake Mecha G-Unit. Hopefully 50 Cent doesn't sue them for this one. Now I've reviewed a lot of gaming keyboards by multiple vendors and I have to admit this one is one of the largest keyboards I've had to review so far. Some like it small, some like it big, that's what she said. But the point is you will need quite a large amount of desk space to house this $150 keyboard. So what makes this keyboard so special? Let's take a closer look. Looking at the keyboard itself, you have media controls on the top. Then around the back, you have a headphone and microphone jack, two USB 2.0 ports and the micro USB connection for the detachable cable. This is really nice as it makes transporting the keyboard much easier. Plus one for thermal take. Apart from this, it has 12 customizable keys with selectable profiles. It also has a 64 kilobyte of an onboard memory, so you can store these profiles in the keyboard in case you use it on another machine. This keyboard utilizes the Cherry MX Black, which is my second favorite after Cherry MX Red. One thing that I really like is that it is an extremely solid keyboard. I put it through some hammering and it didn't slide around my desk at all. And that is Battlefield 3 hammering, because I don't have Modern Warfare 3 just right now. Now, if you are concerned with what cherry keys you should get, it's a bit of a personal preference. From my opinion, using nearly all the different types, I still think Cherry MX Red is the nicest, as it is not that loud and offers good gaming feedback. You can have a listen to the Cherry MX Black on this one now. The keyboard also responds immediately, which is I am assuming due to the 100Hz polling rate, which is just basically to do with the transfer speed of the connection. The keyboard also features some backlighting. Now the reason why I say some is that it doesn't light up the entire keyboard. It only lights up certain keys as can be seen here. The lighting is definitely much better than previous Thermaltake keyboards that I've reviewed, but I don't understand why they didn't put backlighting on the entire thing. It's quite a letdown, especially considering the price. Underneath the keyboard, it is also extremely well built, especially the palm rest. It feels solid and tightly attached, not like some other keyboards, <coughs> G15. The key this keyboard, at its price point, basically is a competitor to the Razer Black Widow series at a slightly cheaper price point. The question is, should you pay more and go for the Razer? Well, the answer is maybe. If you play MMO games and utilize all the customizable keys, and don't mind that it is not a fully backlit keyboard, then this is the one for you. Otherwise, if you want a fully backlit keyboard and don't need the added customizable keys, which also means you get a smaller size keyboard, then the Razer is the way to go. However, I still give this keyboard four out of five product feedback stars and a silver award because it does definitely do a very good job at being a mechanical keyboard and is one of the best. Now I would appreciate it if you thumbed up this video as well as checking out my YouTube channel for more reviews on mechanical keyboards like these. Muhammad signing out and peace be with you.